I was doing a little bit of cleaning and dusting and rearranging some of my, my toy shelves today. And, um, you know, one thing I came to realize is how much I like these monochromatic little, uh, I don't know if you call them helper guys from the Kenner Waterworld line. They're pretty cool. You know, this looks like something you might get in a, a shark bite fruit snacks kind of premium. Um, you know, but I, I like them. They're cool. And so today we are going to open this Bola Attack Mariner with Double Claw Launcher and the Mutant Eel. I, I really, really think that these monochromatic little rubber sea creature guys steal the show on this line. Especially with all the Mariner figures. So, uh, Bola Attack, that's what we're opening today. Uh, Hydro Stinger, I don't think I, I'm not, I don't think I own that one. Uh, Power Bow Mariner. We have uh, th those guys with the, the jet skis don't come with one. Uh, we got Deacon, which comes with this. Nord, I do not own. Atoll Enforcer, we have right here. So uh, these were Kenner at the time, owned by Conca, which was a subsidiary of Hasbro. So you got three toy companies right there. Paul Tuck at Rhode Island. You know, at this point, Kenner was no longer in Cincinnati, Ohio, which is close to where I live. I'm in the suburbs of Cincinnati, actually in a different state in Kentucky. So, here we have Mr. Costner. You might also know him from the Robin Hood men. In, I almost said my Robin Hood men in tights. Uh, the Robin Hood toy line, also from Kenner. Uh, we have this huge. Ugh. Staff. It's kind of interesting. Here we have these. There, hold on, there's, a, there's a lock one. Let's let's get this all out here. Uh, first, let's check out this mutant eel. It's pretty cool, purpley. He's gonna hang out here with his sort of squid and scary fish friends. So they're all gonna hang out up there. Do this so you can see it a little bit better. Okay, so interesting. I just open this, right? You see that's nice and gray. And look at that. Is that supposed to be two tone or is it, has that become discolored? I don't know. I would have to see another another example of one. Um, on the card art, it should be the same color, but who knows? Um, it would be weird if that faded because it was in here like that, so the back. A lot of times that happens uh, with sunlight. Anywho. So let's see. This is the firing button? Is that how this goes? Or no. Hold on. This is just a... Insert staff in the hole between the two barrels for support. Attach a waist clip to figure's waist. So it's very similar. There's a Predator figure that has a somewhat similar dual launcher. All right. Attach waist clip to figure's waist. Low claw projectiles into barrels. String must be in front of staff. Press button to fire launcher. Now, this is a lot of work, Kenner. I kind of... If I was 12 years old and I bought this, which I wouldn't have because I had not seen Waterworld until last year when I was 34 years old. Love it. Great movie. Super into it now. Um, have some of the trading cards. Would like to find the Super Nintendo game that only came out in Europe, um, but yeah, I don't know. This would have been kind of a pain in the, in the butt to to get together. So there he is. We're gonna press this. Wow, that went pretty far. Uh, let me let me back up here. I want you to see the the full range of this this launcher. Let's find a. Deacon, now oh, here he is. So this is Deacon. You could also do a blue velvet. Um, custom there if you wanted. It's kind of hard to stand up because you got that huge head launcher. This helmet, I don't know, whatever it is. by Anthony Hopkins. All right, can you see that? All right. So this this 
bad boy has some range. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Knocked him down. Didn't didn't ensnare him, but man, that's uh, it's pretty serious. Let's try that one more time. Take this off. Well, I don't know. Maybe I can't. I just really want him to stand up. I feel like we could snare a lot easier if he could stand. If he didn't have this like humongous honking thing on his head. Let's try one more time. So while everybody else has been watching the Avengers Infinity War movie this weekend, I'm opening Waterworld figures from 1995. So here we go. Okay, that kind of works. And then Anthony Hopkins, he has some um, helmet disc launchers, which I don't know where they are. Um, he would shoot those at him and they would fight. And then all these sea creatures would come and just kind of, you know, swarm and attack. And I guess that's his, but, you know, you get the idea. So... Uh, so Waterworld is the future. The earth is covered in water, and the sun beats down on Waterworld. The people of the Atoll cling to life, constantly threatened by smokers, the crazed pirates of this flooded world. Only one hope remains, a lone hero called the Mariner. Join him, if you dare, in his courageous search for dry land. 